All right, look, in the world of video editing, you've got a lot of choices. You've got choices on where you get your music and sound effects from, where you get your stock footage from, and you've got choices as far as what software you use to edit your videos. And so in the spirit of trying to help you make more informed decisions, today I have partnered with Vegas Creative Software in order to introduce you to Vegas Post, which is a complete suite of video post-production tools. Now, this video is sponsored, so this is not a review. You're not going to hear my unbiased opinion about Vegas Post. It's going to be really hard. I'm a very opinionated person, but I'm going to try my best to preserve my integrity and just give you a product showcase. We're going to go tool by tool, and I'm going to highlight some of the features, and then at the end, we're going to talk about whether or not Vegas Post can be a viable replacement for Adobe's Creative Cloud. Like I said before, Vegas Post is a complete suite of video post-production tools. You've got Vegas Pro 18, which is your NLE. You've got Vegas FX, which is kind of like After Effects. It's a layer-based compositor. And then you've got SoundForge Pro, which is an audio editor. And you've got Vegas Image, which is, you guessed it, an image editor. Now you can use each one of these apps separately for their own projects, or you can use them to increase the functionality of Vegas Pro. You can actually move in between these apps from Vegas Pro, much like you would dynamic linking in Adobe Creative Cloud, which makes Vegas Pro kind of the cornerstone of this whole thing. So let's just start there. Vegas Pro is a fully functional NLE. It's got all of the tools that you would need in order to create good looking and good sounding videos. You've got all of your basic timeline tools like trimming, ripple deleting, stuff like that. And there's an impressive amount of visual effects, color grading tools, and audio tools. And there's a huge emphasis on audio in Vegas Pro 18. The people who developed it actually got their start in audio, so they actually built it a lot like a DAW, which is really interesting. Even the way that you add your effects and your tools to clips and tracks is a lot like a DAW. It's all done in chains, so you just open up your effects window and you add your effects or your tools in a chain format and then you can go link by link and edit accordingly. And because of that, Vegas Pro basically has a fully fledged DAW built in. You can make your videos sound exactly the way you want and you can also make them look the way you want with their color grading tools and LUT support and all that. And like I said, there are visual effects. There's actually a fairly impressive render engine built into Vegas Pro. Also, it does support GPU acceleration. I was very confused about that when I did my review of Vegas Pro a few months ago, but it does support GPU acceleration. It does work. But just in case you want to get a little bit more complicated with your effects, if you want to maybe do some compositing, you've got Vegas Effects. And in order to get into Vegas Effects, you can either open it up on its own and start a composition from scratch, or you can select a clip and send it over to Vegas Effects from Vegas Pro. And for those of you who are familiar with After Effects, when you get into Vegas Effects, you'll be greeted with a fairly familiar layout. Vegas Effects is a layer-based compositor with a completely customizable layout. It ships with over eight hundred different effects and it supports third-party plugins. So it really does have all the functionality that you need in order to create pretty high quality compositions. And when it's all said and done, you can either export it as a standalone clip or you can just save it and it'll go back into Vegas Pro as if it was always there. I'm not a big effects guy, so I pretty much used it to do some pretty neat titling. There were some really cool titles that I did. I'll actually show you a clip that I completely built out in Vegas Post a little bit later in this video. Moving on to audio, you've got SoundForge Pro. Now, I just need to say this right off the bat, SoundForge Pro is not a DAW. It doesn't do any multi-track editing. It doesn't even do multi-clip editing. SoundForge Pro is an audio clip editor. So let's say I had a dialogue clip that I really wanted to tweak and get it sounding the way that I want. I could select that clip in Vegas Pro, send it over to SoundForge where there are a ton of plugins and a ton of effects along with support for VST plugins. So I can really make everything sound the way I want. Plus a lot of the built-in effects have presets, which makes editing super beginner friendly. And just like with Vegas effects, once you're done in SoundForge Pro, you can press save and it'll send that audio clip 
all fully edited back to Vegas Pro. So you did your video editing, you did your audio editing, most of it in Vegas Pro because they basically got a fully fledged DAW in there, but you did a little bit of work in SoundForge to tweak your vocals or your dialogue. Now it's time to make a thumbnail for your video and you can do that using Vegas Image. And the really cool thing about Vegas Image is that you can choose a still frame from your Vegas Pro timeline. You can click a button, it will take a snapshot of that frame, it'll send it to a folder to be saved and it will open it up in Vegas Image, which acts a lot like Photoshop. It's got raw support, so you can edit raw photos, you can add layers, you can add text, you can do masking, you can do color correcting, basically anything you want. And just as an example of what you can do, I created this really quick thumbnail in Vegas image out of a snapshot from Vegas Post. And when I was done, it not only saved the image in the folder that I chose before, but it placed that image in my media pool in Vegas Pro. So there's a quick overview of all the tools that are in Vegas Post Suite, but that really doesn't give you guys a grasp of what you can do. So uh, just, you know, watch this. Springtime has arrived in Norway. The snow hasn't quite melted off the mountains yet, but the grass has begun to grow. The animals have come out of hibernation and in the harbor of this small town, sailing has returned. I know it's not really the best thing that I've ever put out, but that was all done within the Vegas Post suite. All of the mixing was done in Vegas Post along with all the color grading. All of the titling at the end was created in Vegas Effects. The thumbnail that I showed you earlier was in Vegas Image and that dialogue clip, that voiceover was edited in SoundForge Pro. So like I said, it's got everything that you need in order to create good looking and good sounding videos. And one thing that I wanna mention, I wasn't sure if I wanted to mention it or not because it almost sounds like an opinion, but it's not. It really is just fact. Vegas Pro and really all of the Vegas Post tools are built for speed. Everything opens up really, really quickly. Even when you're linking between apps to send footage here and there and send audio, to SoundForge and it just all really, really fast. And I never struggled once, just, you know, my personal experience, not opinion. I never struggled once with having every single one of these apps open at the same time. So if speed is important to you, there you go. Now, before we get into whether or not this is a viable replacement for Adobe Creative Cloud, let's talk about pricing. There are two ways to pay for Vegas Post. There is Vegas Post Suite and Vegas Post Suite 365. The one-time payment is Vegas Post Suite and you purchase that for $999 and you just have all of the tools for life. The only downside is is once, you know, Vegas Pro 19 comes out and it's time to upgrade you're gonna have to pay $349 to do that. Now, when it comes to Vegas Post Suite 365, you've got a subscription model. So you can pay by the year, that's $29.99 a month, or you can sign up, sign a contract for a year, but pay monthly, that's $31.99 a month. And then you could also pay month to month, and that's $39.99 a month. So you've got a lot of different options for payment. So you've seen what the tools are, you've seen what the tools can do. Now the only thing left to discuss really is can Vegas Post replace Creative Cloud? And the quick answer is it 
it could, but it wasn't built to do that. Let me explain. I had a really, really great conversation with the developers of Vegas Post. And what they told me is that Vegas Post was never meant to be a creative cloud competitor or replacement. What it's meant to be is kind of a middle ground in between the more beginner friendly software like Filmora or Movavi, and then the more Hollywood level stuff like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Avid, After Effects, all that stuff. So it's really good for YouTubers or even wedding filmmakers, even people who make ads. It, it's really good for that kind of stuff. But if you're getting into like TV shows and movies, it, it's it's not quite there yet. It doesn't have quite that level of functionality. So basically, if you're using some of those more beginner friendly tools, you're ready to step up your game, but you don't really need the full functionality of the more professional level software, then Vegas Post is uh, definitely a great option. And also, if you are currently using the more professional level software, but you're finding it really confusing, you don't necessarily need or want all of that stuff, then Vegas Post might make things a lot easier. But if you're using those more professional level tools, you are taking advantage of the full functionality of all that stuff, then no, I would not replace Adobe Creative Cloud with Vegas Post. So what do you think? Did I do a good job of keeping my opinion out of it? I think I did. That was really hard. I'm a very opinionated person. I mean, really, if you want proof, go ahead and check out my review of Vegas Post 18 that I did a few months ago. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.